Amateur historian Oliver McCloskey of Cedar City, Utah, and his partner Kelsey Wright left Independence, Missouri last June for an adventure along the Oregon Trail. We caught up with them on August 7th in Lyman, and Oliver told us about some of the things he's learned along the way. You know, I, I'm learning new things about the trail as I'm going along. Um, pr probably an in interesting uh, fact that I learned about the trail, not only the Oregon Trail, but I'm, I'm also riding uh, about four trails at the same time. So I'm actually riding the California Trail, uh, is, a, is a big trail that goes over the top of the Oregon Trail, also the Pony Express Trail, and now that um, I'm on this end of Nebraska, I'm also on the Mormon Trail, mm -hmm. and that, that also includes the Oregon Trail. All four of those trails run together, and then there's also um, a lot of cutoffs that people don't know about, and the trails were also named other things as well. So uh, there's also the Washington Trail that, that runs through here that, that went through to um, to Washington. Mm -hmm. The people that were heading to Washington, not Oregon, but the people that are heading to Washington, it was called the Washington Trail. And then there's uh, numerous cutoffs <clears throat> all along the trail that um, might cut off a little bit of time, uh, like the, the, Seminole tra the Seminole Trail. The um, uh, I can't think of too many of the cutoffs right now because we've actually been staying true to the trail, but there's a lot of little, little cutoffs and there's more to the trail than just one single trail itself. With only their horses along for the journey, Oliver and Kelsey left Lyman and are headed for the Wyoming border. They plan to make it to Oregon in early November.